Newburgh Township is in the driftless zone, which means that it has trout streams, it has limestone cliffs, it has rolling hills. The people are wonderful. They're good neighbors, they're kind, peaceful. It's, it's peaceful here. So the word just spread like wildfire. What does this mean? And what it meant was it was going to change the way of life of everybody around here. What they're proposing is upwards of 5,000 sows. It's especially troubling and egregious because this area with our karst topography, anything that's happening on the surface goes directly into the groundwater. I mean, if a sinkhole opened up near that facility or under that facility, it would go into the drinking water within a matter of hours. This is what is underneath the dirt that we're walking on. The dangerous part of having a facility like this is the fact that you're putting so many gallons of manure per acre. It will get into our drinking water by way of this karst formation. I'm a hog farmer. I know the value of aerated, stabilized, composted manure. I mean, there's no better source of fertility for gardens and for cropland. But composted manure from a healthy animal and anaerobically rotted pig sewage, those are two different things. These hogs in this one facility would produce as much feces as a city of 50,000 people, whereas our entire county only has 20,000 people. So in other words, the scale of this operation absolutely dwarfs anything in the area. I work in Iowa and I've seen rural areas um, in Howard County across the border be depopulated because hog finishing barns are going up and no one wants to live there. We've heard about other farrowing units that are in, just over the border in Iowa where the children can't even play outside when they go to school because there's ammonia in the air, which is very bad to breathe. The rate of asthma in that school has jumped incredibly. This facility would be producing millions of gallons of liquid pig sewage every year. There's a lot of people that live very close to this facility and we don't want things to get out of control in our karst area like they have in Iowa. What's been really interesting about this factory farm fight in this area is the near unanimous opposition to it. We've had hundreds of comments from the local citizens saying, you know, we just, we need more information about this and this is too risky. The MPCA decided to put on an informational meeting at the local community center in Mabel. There was nearly 500 people at that meeting. I don't think I've ever been a part of something more thrilling just to see people from all different walks of life, conventional farmers, organic farmers, and they had researched the issues. They spoke really um, emotionally about how concerned they were about their families' health and, and lives. And it was just really impressive to see so many citizens coming together and demanding to be heard. It basically comes down to like, what kind of future do we want in this area? Do we want thriving, independent family farms? Or do we want to invite outside, out-of-state corporate interests in to manage the farms where they have no connection to the local community and aren't accountable to us in any way? Like, which future do we want? Well, clean water and clean air, clean soil is important because that's our livelihood. And if the water's fouled, how do you bathe? How do you prepare dinner? 
I, I can't imagine buying enough water to you know, brush my teeth and wash my face and wash my laundry and take a shower. Well, everybody needs water. Everybody needs clean water. You know, it's, it's a right. We shouldn't have to fight so hard for it.